<clears throat> hey y'all, so first things first, that noise, that, that's Johnny being a little shithead, see that, he, he docks all his food out of the bowl and eats it off the floor because he's a fucker, so disregard that annoying sound. The reason I'm sitting on the floor next to my bed right now is because I was going to start recording this video and then my heater turned on and it's really loud and it rattles. And I was just like, cool. And I got really sidetracked with what I was saying, so I'm going to just start over. Ready? Lazy. So lazy. Okay. All right, the point, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. The point of this video that I have been thinking about for a while is, like, the standard in the trans masculine community of, like, being really fit. And like working out and going to the gym and being like obsessed with your abs and your pecs and all these muscles. I don't even fucking know all the muscles that there are in the body because I don't care. But I feel like every person I see on Tumblr or like people I follow on YouTube are just like always talking about like going to the gym and working out and doing all this stuff. And I feel like I'm doing it wrong if I am not doing that because I feel like that's just the, I don't know, standard or norm, the perceived norm of the trans masculine community is to like become like a gym addict because that's like what being a guy is to go to the gym all the time you know what I mean I feel like it's almost like you have to become like the complete opposite of like female is to be like a gym obsessed male I don't know I don't know and it just like frustrates me because it makes me feel like am I like not doing it right am I not like you know going about this the right way should I be obsessed with going to the gym should I care more about how my body looks? Like, because I don't. I mean, I would like to work out more, and I am like not doing very well at motivating myself. But I'm, I work forty hours a week. Most often, I'm working eight to ten hours a day. I am exhausted when I come home. I don't want to stand up anymore, and so I just like don't have time to work out in my schedule. And it's like, okay, that's just fine for me right now. Like. Maybe I'll try and squeeze it in on my days off, but like, I, you know, I just am doing a lot of stuff and it's like, I don't have time for it, but it feels like, oh, I should be doing what all these other guys are doing. I should be like caring more about my physique and like getting really fit and, you know, being like a cis guy who's like really fit and Johnny's, uh, well, oh, he wants to lick my hand. Hi, John. Hi. Okay. Oh, bite me. Thank you. What the fuck is that? Could be a jerk. Yeah, that's right. Walk away. So, like, I mean, I have been having, like, this feeling for a while, like, a little bit of a body image problem. Like, oh, I got a little bit of chub. You know, that's wrong. I should be caring more about that. I should be trying to work it out and, and get rid of it and become really lean. And But I just don't care. I get, I'm comfortable right now. I'm comfortable in my skin. And, like, I find myself, like, obsessing over it sometimes. Like, oh, my God, this shirt makes me look fat. Like, who, like, why do I care that much? Like, I'm fine in my body until I start comparing myself to other trans people and even other cis people. Like, I don't know. People always say that, like, you know, women have a hard body image. And I came from that. I know exactly what it's like to not feel like my body was right for the female standard. Not that it's, like, the same level of, like, a standard for men, but I definitely feel this, like, pressure to fit into this, like, really athletic, really muscular and jacked, like, kind of mold of a man, you know? And, I, and I'm, like, I don't see any representation of, like, my body type in anything. Like, I got a little bit of chub. I'm not ashamed of it, I you know? But I don't, like, every clothing thing, everything I see on Tumblr is just, like, really fit like, muscular guys, then I'm, like, I don't even know what to expect myself to look like in, like, a suit or things like that, because everything I'm seeing is, like, you know, a slimmer person than I am, and I just, like, frustrates me, because I feel like I should look like that, and that's what, like, society wants me to look that way as a male, too, is to be, like, really muscular and, like, you know, defined and stuff, you know, and as a female, it was, like, you have to be really skinny, and I just hate society, pretty much, I think that's what I'm getting at, like, there's just these standards that you're supposed to meet, and who gives a fuck? Like, cool, I have a little bit of chub, like, whatever. Everybody has fat rolls. 
who gives a shit? I don't know. It just really drives me crazy because, like, it's not that I'm not muscular. Like, look at this. You know what I mean? Like, my arms have bulked up since starting testosterone. I, I, ah, you know, I would love to go to the gym. I would, but I don't have time. I don't have the energy. I don't have the money. So I don't go, and I feel wrong for not doing that. So pretty much what I'm getting at is society sucks, and, you know, going from female body image struggles to male body image struggles sucks. It all sucks. Having this, like, standard you feel like you have to meet, but you aren't meeting. I don't like it. I don't like society for that reason. Why can't we just, like, let people look whatever they want? Obviously, if you're, like obese then yeah you probably you have health problems and you should you know be more careful but like if you're a little overweight like I'm not gonna die because I have a little bit of belly flab like whatever I don't need to have defined abs and whatever I don't know also sorry that my hair looks kind of like crap it's just kind of like sticking straight up I'm not really gonna get a haircut until it's warm out when I'm just gonna shave it off again I think so whoa it's looking a little cray yeah, whatever. Um, I'll probably not make a video until I'm in Ohio with Natasha, which will be on, like, Monday or Tuesday. So, because I got to work long hours the next few days. Unless I get inspired by something, I probably won't see you until I'm in Ohio with Natasha. So, get excited, because we're going to make another video for you. Lovely people that care about my channel. Okay. I'm going to stop rambling now, and I'm going to get off the floor. Where's John? Let's see. John, where'd you go? Ah. I don't know where he is. Oh, wow. He's really just disappeared. I was going to have him say goodbye, but he's... <laughs> he's, uh, pieced out of here. Real quick, like... Maybe he's under the bed. Let's check under the bed. Shall we? Oh, yeah, guys. I found him. All right, John. Say goodbye. Bye. Alright. Until next time, have a great week, y'all.